Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, your host, Courtney Dowden. Welcome to the show where we hang out and craft together. Today, we'll be answering your questions that you have on the Brother Scan and Cut and the Brother Print Moda. Let's do this. Alrighty, so the last video we did was the cute DIY pillow, the little kitty pillow that we made using the Scan and Cut and the Brother Print Moda. And you guys had a lot of questions, so let's jump into that video first. So we had a question, very cute. Back in the day, I used to do holiday prints very much like your pumpkin. I would like to make something like this. How would I, how could it be done if I do not have a print moda? I would really like to make something similar. What was the size of the piece that, uh, of print moda fabric you, did you use? Thank you for sharing really cute video. Okay, so you can do something similar. There are, are uh, on the market inkjet printer sheets that can go in your regular inkjet printer. However, you are limited on size with those. I think it's like an eight by 11 or something similar to that um, because it's just the size of a regular piece of computer paper. So you could do that and get a similar, um, similar pillow, but again, it's small. The one that I did was the width on a print moda is 11.69 and the, you know, length on it is oh God, it's humongous. It's humongous. Um, I'll pop it on the screen cause I can't remember on top of my head. Uh, but the only thing, so with one, the one that I made, to answer your question, the one that I made was 11.69, I think by 17 was the one I did. And I actually thought about doing a bat and like the large bat wings. And I was going to make that almost a 24, 25, um, because you know, a bat's long. So I was gonna flip him and do a long one, but I ended up finding that design that we did on the show and I preferred it. But that's, that's the thing about the print moda is that it's so long that you can do those large areas. So the width on a computer paper that you'd be able to do on your inkjet is an eight inch, but you get 11.69 with the print moda. So the width is a lot bigger, but then again, you have crazy amounts of uh, length with the print moda. So, Yes, you could do a similar one. Um, it's just you wouldn't be able to do the exact size that I did on the print motive, but you could do something similar. Alrighty, so the next question we had was, will the quilt show in Houston have any scan and cut classes? Will scan and cut machines uh, be available to purchase? If yes, will there be a discount? Thanks. So, if you don't know, Houston Quilt Festival is an amazing festival that is in Houston, huh? <laughs> that there's so many vendors and beautiful quilts to look at, and there's also classes. So I know that there is a scan and cut class. Um, All Brands is not hosting. We are providing the machines, but we are not hosting that class. Um, so I don't know if they still have availability. Um, I would go on Houston Quilt Festival's pay, uh, website to check out the classes. Um, but I do know there is a scan and cut class. Again, I don't know if it's full or not. So definitely check that out. And now for the machines, yes, all brands will be there in the all brands village. And I will actually be in the scan and cut area with Cindy Hogan. She's phenomenal. Um, we're gonna be having so much fun. Yes, they are there to purchase. We do have stock is there to purchase to bring home with you. However, we also do ship these. So I know a lot of people will travel and she's not a huge machine but do I want to put her in my carry-on? No. Do I want to put her in my check luggage? No. So they will also ship to your door. And that's if you go to festival or not. Now, the last part of your question, will there be discounts? Yes. Can I tell you what they are now? No. Do I wish I could? Yes. So definitely come check out Houston Quilt Festival. We will be there. Now, if you are not able to come to Houston Quilt Festival, keep your eyes peeled if you are wanting a scan and cut because some of those deals will also be available for people who are not at festival. So, so just saying. All right, let's see, next question. Veronica asks, will brother ever come out with a machine that is 24 inches wide and endless length? That would be really cool, Veronica. And I've asked the same question to brother, because remember Courtney, not brother. Um, and I know that they're thinking up some really, really cool stuff that hopefully will come out in the future. And I've seen a lot of different cutters that have this 24 inch, and that's really great if you want that, that size of it. Uh, I personally have not bought one because I don't, I don't like to lose some of the features with the scanning cut. Cause not only can you cut, you can scan and take any design in and all that good stuff and the onboard editing. So for me, I prefer the technology side of it, but having that large area is pretty cool. So no, I'm not sure if brother is currently going to come out with that. Um, as soon as I know, you know, I'll let you know. <laughs> all right. So the next one I had was. 
I have a low tack 12 by 24. Could I have used it to do this pumpkin? Now, a low tack is what I predominantly use for paper. It's my paper mat. So if I was trying to cut out fabric, fabric needs to make sure that it has a really you know good grip to it. So in the video, I used a standard mat that was brand new. Uh, so I would, I would say that if it's a brand new low tack, you might be able to get away with it, but it makes me nervous. I would really prefer a good standard mat. I prefer a fabric mat, but brother hasn't come out with a 12 by 24 fabric mat, brother. So <laughs> I want that mat. So uh, if you're gonna use a low tack 12 by 24, what you can do is you can get a high tack support sheet and I'll have them linked in below. I have everything guys linked. There's a thing that says, you know, products mentioned. And if you go to that, it brings you to our website. Anything I mentioned is always in there. Um, but I would go and get the high tax support sheets. They come in a 12 by 12, but there's multiple in the pack. So if you have a 12 by 24 mat, just put two of them. And then that makes it super, super, super sticky so it can hold your fabric. So yes, you could use your 12 by 24 low tack mat with a high tack support sheet and then it's super sticky to do that. So um, be careful with the high tack support sheet because they are extremely sticky. And um, when you're first using it, it it's a bit much, but uh, that that's probably what I would recommend because I just, I get worried about a low tack mat just because it's not sticky enough to hold it. It's great for paper. It does great for paper and pressure sensitive vinyl. Fabulous, because pressure sensitive vinyl has a paper backing on it. So it does great, great, great for that. It's just fabric. It doesn't hold as great. Alrighty. And another, wasn't a question, but someone, uh, Becky with Power Tools with Thread. She said, great demo, Courtney, love it. I think I need a, a logo pillow with my new print moda. Becky, I know you got a print moda. I saw you loading it. You can make all sorts of things. If y'all don't know Becky, y'all know Becky. She's fabulous, she's wonderful. Again, Power Tools with Thread, she is fabulous. I just, we absolutely adore her and she comes out with some of the great, great, great content. So, love Becky. All right, next video. The next video was, Art Spear, the new subscription breakdown. I know some people were confused when I switched outfits in the previous video. It's because I had found out right then that Art Spear, the subscription had come out and I had to quit edit, uh, quit filming that video and switch over to that one because I knew you guys would have tons of questions on Art Spear and you guys did. So let's jump into some of them. So the first question we had was, what would you do with the digitized photo? Because in the video, we actually digitized a photo of my son and made them into stitches. So what I would do then is actually send it over to my Luminaire machine or my Stellaire, whatever machine, because he has have multiple. Um, I would send it over to my machine, my embroidery machine, and stitch it out. So, oh, Mr. John, if you're watching, no, you're not. Okay, my father-in-law, do not watch there. So what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm making a memory quilt. So I'm actually having the print moda print out the pictures and I'm digitizing parts of the photo and I'm going to have parts of it be digitized into stitches. Because yes, I could just have the beautiful printed uh, picture on fabric for my print moda, but I feel like I need to add some texture to it and then you get those two dimensional kind of, uh, pieces of art <laughs> I feel like it is but it's it's something it's something textured it's something additional to it so that's what I'm using the digitizing personally is what I'm using it for and then one picture in the middle or you know on parts of it I'm fully digitizing the whole photo of it and then that way I get layers to it I think it's gonna be really pretty there are layers to my quilt that I'm making so that's what I'm personally using it for but you could digitize a photo for anything it's great so another thing I'm <laughs> This is me going on tangents of what I'm making at home. But another thing that I'm digitizing right now is um, a picture of my son's cat. He has a black cat and I thought it'd be really funny. For the hand towels in his restroom, I'm digitizing his black cat to make little Halloween uh, hand towels for his bathroom. Very niche, I'm aware, but when he sees it, he's gonna get the giant, the huge kick out of it. So that, I mean, again, digitize, you can put on anything. It's whatever you usually put embroidery on, you've now made an embroidery file to, through Art Spirit, it's wild. All right, so the next one we had is, hi, I liked many embroidery designs in Artsphere, but couldn't figure out how to get them because I don't have a brother Wi-Fi embroidery machine. Any idea how to get the design downloaded on a computer or on a USB out of Artsphere? Thanks. Okay, I've seen a few people say that someone told them that yes, they could, and, th and th no, unfortunately, I've talked to the engineers, hey guys, you know, how could we get around this? Is there a way to get around this? And how it's been explained to me personally is it is a cloud. So Artspear is in the cloud. 
and you have to go through Art Spear straight to your embroidery uh, embroidery machine to be able to embroider. You have to go straight from the cloud to your scan and cut to be able to cut the designs out. You have to go straight from the cloud from Art Spear to the print moda. You cannot put it on a computer or on your USB is what I've been told. So Art Spear is amazing, but yeah, that's why you can't get it on if the machine's not a Wi-Fi capable embroidery machine because it has to go through the cloud. So there's no actual tangible design to be able to put into a USB, you know, and bring it over that way. It's all, all within the cloud. I know that sounds so confusing, but yeah, it's all, it's all through there. That's how they connect. So, so far, I don't see a workaround around that. Um, our brother hasn't, you know, made a workaround around that because they do want you to use it through the cloud. So, yeah. All right. Next question we got had was, Courtney, can it be another brand that does PES? No, it has to be brother because as I'm seeing it right now, you have to go into your brother embroidery machine. So whenever, so whenever it all came out, I went into my luminaire and I actually had to activate the art spear of function in my luminaire. It's a choice that if you have it available for your machine, it's actually something that you would see the art spear icon to be able to do it. So there's no way to put that icon on a machine that isn't compatible with it. So I don't see how you'd be able to do it with, um, with another brand because they don't have the art spirit icon. So it's something I'm sure it's probably updates that they're doing this through to add things because that art spirit icon was not on my luminaire until I did the latest update and then suddenly it was on my luminaire. So brother brother's technology, I don't I don't know how they do it, but I appreciate when they do it. <laughs> so very, very cool. I know it's a cool feature, everybody wants it, but so far it looks like there are certain machines um, that are able to do it. And remember, I'm Courtney. I'm not brother. No killing Courtney. All right, I didn't create Art Spear. I'm just explaining it. <laughs> the video before that we did was felt a fall felt garland with the scanning cut, and that was a lot of fun. That was just get me getting crafty. All right, so we had a question. Where do you buy the rotary blade? I haven't been using my machine because I've, I've been moving and I'm ready to start using my scan and cut machine again and get crafting. The leaves are so cute. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, so where I got my rotary blade was allbrands.com. So on our website, All Brands, uh, you can actually buy the rotary blade separately. So if you have an SDX 330, it comes with your machine. But if you don't have the XDX 330, you can buy it in a kit separately. Um, and I'll pop it on screen so you can see what it looks like. But you can get that kit separately to be able to use it on your Scan and Cut SDX 225, 230, and 325. I'm not sure if it works on the others, but those are ones that I've personally tried that I know it does work with. So you can get it um, for those machines. And of course, whenever you buy from All Brands, not only are you supporting a family owned and operated company, you're also helping us continue this education that we do for you guys. So thank you so much when you purchase from All Brands. We truly appreciate that. And you guys are allowing me to do these videos and I love doing these videos. So, so thank you so much all right next question does the uh 325 scan and cut have leaf designs built in that could have been used uh, so the scanning step could be skipped yeah absolutely yeah that's just me being really particular with the leaf i wanted but there are um leaves and so many designs so many designs built into the machine i just like showing um not only can you use all the ones in the machine but you could also bring in ones it's a beautiful part about the scanning function of the scanning cut <laughs> Uh, next question someone asked is, is this wool felt or craft uh, store felt? So this was actually craft store felt. However, I've done it with wool felt and it's so nice. It's so nice. I knew this garland was actually just gonna go in my kid's room. You know, it's something that actually I encourage them to touch stuff and there's nothing uh, dangerous or like hard or, you know, it's soft, it's soft felt. So I have it low down on their beds. Um, it's, it's so cute. So. I just did craft felt, but if I was making like a super, super nice one that I would use wool felt, but I didn't have any on hand though. So. Uh, next question he had was, can I cut felties out with my scan and cut two layers of felt? Uh, so I'm not sure what a felty is, but it, since you said two layers of felt, it makes me a little nervous because you're gonna wanna make sure that each layer of felt is touching the mat because that's the sticky part that's holding it down to the mat. So if you had a layer on top of a layer, and they weren't joined some kind of way, well, that top layer is just gonna move because there's nothing holding it to the mat. Um, now, if those two layers are bonded together in some kind of way, so when it's cut, there's no shifting, then yeah, absolutely. So let's say somehow they were glued, but it happened to be two, you know, two of them together, so it gives you that, that uh, chunkiness. 
as long as it's under a three millimeter thickness, you can put it through your machine. So under three millimeters, go for it as long as again, they're connected. Because if it's just a piece of felt laid on another piece of felt, well, there's nothing holding that top felt. So yeah, that's that's what I would do. Uh, next one, Miss Donna said, congratulations on 14K. Thank you, Miss Donna. So we were so close trying to reach 14,000 and I'm actually gonna see real quick where we're at. So at the time of filming this video, we are now at 14,000. 429 what what in the world so guys we are what a little little over 500 from 15,000 subscribers and that is wild to me i don't understand it let me know in the comments what should we do for 15,000 subscribers of course i will be coming on for a live video um I, mean, I think we should do a giveaway i think that would be fun give me some ideas what should we do i don't 15, that what? Cause that's a huge milestone. I feel like you go five, 10, 15, or I mean, granted every thousand is a huge milestone for me, but 15, I feel like that, that's something we need to, we need to do something. So again, give me some suggestions down in the comments below what we should do. Of course, I think live show, of course, giveaway, but let's get creative. You guys are creative. I know you're uh, you'll come up with some fun stuff. I like how I'm putting it on you. I'm like, y'all figure this out for me. No, I'm just kidding. Alrighty, the next video we did was custom fall doormat using the scan and cut. That was a lot of fun. I still have remnants of the paint that I got really messy and fun with on my mat uh so i thought it was washable paint it was not but we had a great time so let's answer some of the questions we had here oh beth had a great idea she says i think i would have done the d first then painted the pumpkin and leaves overlapping the d i love that idea beth oh that that would be really cute so then it feels like integrated i love that that's awesome all right miss lynn said does the skinny cut you use cut everything fabric paper thin wood felt etc yes ma'am so we actually we've done videos on fabric we've done paper we've done thin wood we've done felt so so if you don't know if you ever go on our channel um there is a playlist of all my videos and i've i've gone over a few things but if you just search on our channel so say she wanted to look up fabric she could just type in fabric or uh, after hours fabric and all the videos that I've done with fabric will come up. Wood, uh, paper, anything like that, felt with that garland we did and stuff like that will come up. So if there's a certain thing that you're wanting to see, all of our videos get saved on our YouTube channel so you can always go back to them as a reference. So definitely, definitely, yes, the skin and cut can cut all that. It's wild and it's fun and I have a great time. All right, so the video we did before that was five mistakes to avoid with your brother's scan and cut. And we had a few questions on that one as well. So we had, you are so order, well thank you. And I love your videos. Could you tell me which mat the balsa wood should go on for the maximum thickness of the balsa wood? Thank you. So the mat I usually use is a fabric mat. I know it's called fabric mat, but I see it as my most sticky mat. And I know with balsa wood, it's gonna go you know, down a few times, because the way that it does that three millimeter thickness is that it scores, it comes down, scores it again, comes down, scores it again. So that way it's not forcing that blade all the way through that wood. It's going down slowly to get a nice smooth cut. So I wanna make sure while it's doing that, there's no shifting. Shifting is when the bad things happen. So I use a fabric mat that's dedicated for my messy mat that I do crazy stuff on. So that's what I personally use, but a standard mat, a pretty clean new standard mat would also be great. Uh, that, Again, just what I use. Um, and again, the maximum thickness is a three millimeter, which is awesome. So think uh, thick puffy foam, uh, then balsam wood. So it's something with, I always like to reiterate with balsam wood or acrylics or when I'm telling you that you can do those things is make sure that it has a little bend to it. If the material you're cutting doesn't have a little give to it, then I wouldn't put it in my machine. If it's solid and it's not bending at all, don't put it in your machine. Like I'm manhandling my machine. Don't put it in your machine. Make sure it's got a little give to it. Um, and then that will be safe to put into your machine. All right, the next question we had was, could you show how to cut out appliques from an EXP file for Bernina, please? All righty, so Scan and Cut is a, I think it's right here, brother machine, and it can read a PES. So the applique file it would be able to read is a PES. It would not be able to read an EXP, which I guess is the Bernina one. So what I usually suggest to do is when you buy a, a file or buy a design or you're saving design from software that you've edited, 
just go ahead and save to the PES or when you brought a file, you know they give you all the other ones. So take the PES, put that in your scanning cut, take your EXP in this case, bring that over to your embroidery machine and then they don't talk to each other. They never know the, what you did and then you can cut out your applique and bring it on over to your, uh, for your applique on your Bernina machine. So, so you could send that PES wirelessly or through the USB port. Um, you wouldn't be able to send from the machine to the scan and cut, not with that format. Next one, do you have a video on cleaning your brother's scan and cut machine? I have seen about the mats, just wondering about the rollers and all. Uh, no, I don't currently have a video on it. I would love to think, get our tech in here one day. Maybe I can convince them to shoot a video with me today. Uh, on cleaning maintenance. So if you notice right here, there's the little black rollers. So maybe I would take something, ooh, mine are disgusting, but maybe take something, wipe those down. Um, maybe an unscented baby wipe, maybe just a wet cloth. I, I get nervous about going into the internal parts of the machine. I usually don't recommend taking off any kind of covers or anything. Um, if you ever notice your scanning cuts really, really acting up, then bring it into a authorized brother service center like all brands um, so that their certified techs can look at it. But if it's just something minor externally, okay. But again, I get real nervous opening up and fidgeting with anything inside of there because one, it's gonna void your warranty. And two, I don't trust myself to do that. So, <laughs> So yeah, I um, be hesitant about that, but again, just just cleaning. Keep the, the main part is make sure that any debris in your blade is taken out. So when I did acrylic, there was so much debris in here. So I cleaned that out. Make sure I'm cleaning, keeping anything from going in here that shouldn't be going in there. Uh, when I'm doing wood and stuff like that, I make sure that whenever it's time for me to take something off a mat, I take it away from my machine to do it because there are, if there are bits and particle bits, then that would make me nervous. I wouldn't put like canned air in there. I know some people do that. I've never personally done it and I've never had a machine that desperately needed it. it, it I feel like when the mat goes in there, it kind of pushes anything out and there shouldn't be anything too chunky going in your machine, leaving a ton of debris or anything like that. Even when I am doing wool, uh, wood or any acrylic, it's pretty much stays on the sticky mat, not into my machine. But let me know if you guys would want a video with uh, our tech to come in so we can pick his brain. Uh, the next one we had was, I was going to buy a scan and cut about a month ago and the coupon code wouldn't work. Should I call it in? Yes, you can always call our 1-800 number and talk to any of our CSRs. They're fabulous and you can give them your coupon code. If you guys don't know, if you ever put the Scanning Cut SDX325 in your cart as well as put in your cart, you have to add it to your cart, the uh, rotary blade kit because the rotary blade does not come with the 325, it does come with the 330. But if you put that kit in there with the 325 and put the code in the coupon field, after hours, it will make that rotary blade completely free. So that, I think it's like $59.99, like you're saving $59.99, which is awesome. So if you put it in there, apply the coupon, again, you have to put it in your cart together. So it's not gonna automatically put it, if you just put the scan and cut in there, it's not gonna automatically put that kit in there and make it free. You have to go and put the kit in your cart, have them both in your cart, then apply the coupon. That's how it makes them free. So. Very, very cool. But yes, you could always call it in in the customer service department and they'll, they can do all that for you. If it's, if, if, like, if that's a hot mess, go ahead and just call them. They'll do it for you. The next question we had is, is our Spira able to be used on a non-Apple notebook? Yeah, absolutely. It's not just an Apple product. Our Spira is a brother product. Um, so yes, you can do it on an Android tablet or phone. You can do it on Apple tablet or phone. It's wherever you get your apps, you can use it on there. So it's, there's no current desktop model for ArtSphere because it's app based. So yes, you can get it on Android, Apple. It, it doesn't make a difference. Of course you would go, what, I think it's Play Store for Google Play Store for an Android and then the app store for iPhone on your phone or your tablet. All right guys, so that was some of the questions that you guys had left in the comments of our videos and please, of course, leave more questions down below so we can enter it into our next video that we do answering questions. And don't forget that the Brother Scan and Cut as well as the Brother Print Moda and tons of other really cool products are on our website, allbrands.com. We truly appreciate when you guys do purchase from us. All right, Whew, I've talked too much today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it's the easiest way to let us know that you want more of these videos. Y'all have a good night. Bye.